What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, as you can tell by the title, I am showing you what is in my travel bag. So Caleb and I are going on our honeymoon tomorrow. We leave tomorrow and we're gone for eight days and seven nights. I'm super excited. We haven't told you where the destination is, but you'll find out probably tomorrow. We're filming every day that we're gone and we're going to do a travel vlog like getting there tomorrow. So I will probably edit and post that tomorrow, which is Monday the 10th. Yeah. So you'll find out tomorrow. I'm going to post this video later tonight. So I have all of my stuff back here that I plan on packing and I'm packing it in my new black cow pack that you saw in a previous video. So I'm just going to show you all the stuff that I pack in here, which is going to be super quick. And then I'm going to show you everything that I'm putting in my carry-on bag, which is just this little backpack that I got from Target. Super cute. I'm really excited about it. So let's just get into it. So I'm trying to keep everything that I'm packing super simple because I want to be able to wear different things with different outfits if I want to. So I'm just bringing a bunch of denim shorts. I have one, two, three, four, five pairs and then I'll just rewear them. I have three body suits, one, two, three, four, five, six tank tops and then a t-shirt just, you know, for some variety. And then I'm also bringing a sweatshirt a pair of sleep shorts and two sleep shirts just to have. I don't normally wear specific things to sleep and I wouldn't normally need a sweatshirt because we're going somewhere hot, but just in case it does get a little chilly, I want to make sure I have something. I'm also going to bring a dress because Caleb and I do plan on going maybe to a nice dinner one night. I'm going to bring my Birkenstocks because just in case I need kind of, that's my dressy shoe of choice. Obviously they're not dressy, but they're just easy for me to wear. And then I'm also gonna bring a pair of flip flops for water stuff. I'm gonna bring a hat. This is the one I got from Eat Your Coffee just because the sun hates me and I hate the sun. And I've just got a million pairs of underwear because I feel like when you travel, you can never bring too many pairs of underwear because you never know what might happen. And then I also have a bunch of pairs, bunch pairs of white socks because I am bringing my pair of white adidas to wear most days and then i have one bathing suit this is a new one that i got from asos that you'll definitely see in some pictures coming up i'm super excited about it it's really really comfy and then i'm also going to bring a black and a brown belt and wow i have so much room left over so i'm probably going to put some of caleb's stuff in this side and then we also have all of our bathroom stuff which we're bringing full size because we're gonna be gone for a while, so yeah, I'm gonna go grab all my bathroom stuff and then I'll show you all that. So for our bigger beauty stuff, I'm bringing just this bag. I don't even remember where I got it. I got it forever ago, maybe like TJ Maxx or something. So I'm gonna put our biggest stuff in there, which is my shampoo and conditioner, which I showed in my honeymoon haul. We're bringing some Dr. Bronner's for both of our body wash. It's just easy to have. I'm bringing all of my sunscreens, so I have the sun bomb face, the lotion, and the spray, and all of that is the 50 SPF. I've got my It's a 10 Leave-In Miracle Conditioner, whatever. And then some of the Avalon Organics wipes, makeup remover wipes, my Wonder Seed face wash, and my Mario Badescu cleansing gel, which I just got and I have been loving. And then I also have my Mario Badescu facial spray with the aloe, herbs, and rose water, which is really, really nice. And then up top, I have my vitamins in these little, you know, convenient daily packs. And then I don't actually, that might not even fit in there. I've got this little travel thing of Q-tips, which is just super convenient because Q-tips is something that I feel like I always forget when traveling, but it's always good to have. I'm also going to bring a bunch of extra scrunchies just to have them. Just a gray one, a tan one, and a yellow one. And what else can I fit in here? My wide tooth comb, which I used, like to use in the shower. And then I'm also going to bring my wet brush, but that's not going to fit in here. I think this thing is probably full, so I'll just call that good. I'm also going to bring my self tanner. This is the Luna Bronze Tanning Mousse. I just used this yesterday, so I probably won't need it, but in case I feel like I need a touch up, I'm just going to bring that with my tanning glove. This is from Loving Tan, but I just use it with all of my self tanners, and I love this Luna Bronze. 
I'm also going to bring some aloe vera. This is from Lily of the Desert and that's just good to have because I always get sunburned so might as well just bring the one I have. I'm bringing this clove and Halo, clove and hollow makeup melt which I've been using as a makeup remover and I really really love it. It's one of those like thick oils and then you use it just wipe it all over your face and then when you get in the shower you use a washcloth or just water and wash it off and it just makes my skin feel a lot better than using just the wipes. I like the wipes for my eye makeup but this is really nice. And then everything else I'm going to fit in this smaller bag, just this little black bag and this will be my makeup bag. So I'm not going to bring a ton of makeup, it might seem like a ton of makeup to some, but I'm going to bring my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I probably won't even use primer but I just like to have it in case I decide I need it. I'm going to bring my IT Cosmetics CC Cream. This has 50 SPF, so it's really, really nice. And then I'm also going to bring my e.l.f. foundation, which has 30 SPF. So whichever one I'm in the mood to wear, I like to have both. Same with my concealers. I'm going to bring my Tarte Shape Tape, but I'm also going to bring my Clove and Hollow Halo one, just because I just got it and I kind of like it better, because it's a lot more lightweight and I'm going to be sweaty where we're going. I'm also going to bring my NYX Micro Brow Pencil and my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. My NYX Wonder Stick in case I feel like doing cream contour. And then I'm also just going to bring my Wet n Wild Bronzer because I usually prefer the powder. My Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder and then my Tarte Lights Camera Splashes Waterproof Mascara. I love the Japanese beauty sponge so I'm going to use that for putting on all my makeup and then I also love the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, it just makes your makeup stay on forever. I just did my nails with this Sunday's nail polish in the shade L1, it's this really light pink color so I'm going to bring that in case I need to touch up on my nails along with a razor and my shaving cream is actually still in the shower but it's by Pure Romance so I'm going to bring that. My It Cosmetics Facial Moisturizer and then I have just two fluffy brushes by Equal Tools. This one I use for my setting powder and this one I use for my bronzer so I like to have both to use and then that's everything for my makeup bag. And then I also have my toothbrush and toothpaste. I just have my bamboo toothbrush from Mother's Vault. Caleb and I both have these and love them. And then we use the Jason Power Smile Whitening Toothpaste. I'm going to bring my Ray-Ban sunglasses. And that is everything that I'm putting in my big suitcase. We'll probably just fill the rest with Caleb's shoes and some stuff that he couldn't fit in his bag. And then I will show you what I'm putting in my carry-on. So now for my carry-on, I'm going to bring my laptop which is in this just super simple black case just to kind of protect it because this bag doesn't have individual pockets. I also have this folder that's just full of like our boarding passes and kind of just tickets and stuff for things that we're doing while we're gone. For a book I'm going to bring Bossy Pants by Tina Fey. My sister-in-law let me borrow it and I've been meaning to read it forever so I'm super excited about that. I've got my wallet that just has normal stuff like IDs, ID, credit card, cash, whatever. I'm also going to bring my camera but I'm obviously filming on it but I'm going to put it in this little case that also has my extra battery in it because I learned a long time ago that you should always carry an extra battery especially if we're going to be gone all day. And then I'm also bringing my battery charger which some of the stuff I'm not going to put in the bag right now just because I need it later but just showing you what will be in there. I'm also going to bring some tissues because tissues are always good to have. And I'm going to put those in one of our reusable sandwich bags just because we plan on bringing these for snacks anyway, so might as well put them to use. And then in here I'm also just going to throw in some band-aids and some ibuprofen just to have it because you never know. It's always good to be prepared. i am decided I'm actually going to put my sunglasses in this bag. It's probably not a good idea to stuff them in my very full suitcase. Also in just this other bag that I've had forever. I'm going to put my computer charger, our reusable, what is this called? A portable phone charger that apparently is really good. It's the one that I showed you in my haul by Anchor. It apparently can charge like three full phones or something, so that'll be awesome. I'm also going to bring some headphones. 
And then for tripods, I'm bringing this one bigger three prong one and then this really tiny three prong one. And this is the one I'll probably be carrying around most of the time, but this one will be good if I just wanna sit down and talk or just have a bigger tripod. It's always good to have one. So I'm gonna keep this bigger one in here and then carry this one with me because I'll be filming at the airport and stuff. And then in this little other bag, we're bringing our GoPro with a little adapter because it works with the other tripods we're bringing for my camera. The GoPro charger, the little adapter for the GoPro SD card, and then this is my adapter for my SD card to my computer so I can edit while I'm gone. And then this is our USB to the new computer thing adapter because we both had to get new laptops so nothing actually fits in there anymore. And that's everything I'm gonna put in this little bag. And then snacks, of course, I'm gonna bring some of these Go Raw carrot cake cookies that are really, really good. And then some new Go chocolate chip bars. And that is everything I have in here. I'll also be bringing like my phone charger and my phone and a water bottle, but that's kind of stuff that I don't have with me right now because it'll be last minute stuff. So that's everything that I'll be putting on my carry-on that I'm bringing on the plane. That's everything that we'll be bringing with us. That's all the stuff that's in my travel bags. I know this video was kind of all over the place. It wasn't really well planned. I was just in the middle of packing and figured I'd show you everything that we're bringing. I'm super excited to take you guys along with us and to finally tell you where we're going. We're so excited. We've been planning this trip for like a year. So now that it's finally here, it's kind of insane. But like I said, we leave tomorrow. So we're super excited. I'm gonna just uh, edit and upload this video right now. So it's like basically happening real time. I hope you guys liked this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below comment anything that maybe you always forget when you're traveling and if i see the comment before we go maybe it'll remind me of something that i need and yeah i guess i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching bye